It's not St. Patrick's Day. I just wanted to let you know that I know that this video is a day late. But we're here. All right, enjoy. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. And um, I'm hoping that this video is being uploaded today. But I'm realizing it's already into the evening here. And I still got to do a voiceover for part two. Yes, part two is going to come after this. But first, I wanted to show you Lincoln. He looks so adorable. He's in his happy St. Patrick's Day. And it's got a Tyrannosaurus Rex and his rainbow. Where's the pot of gold, Lincoln? Share it with us. And on the pants, it's dinosaur, Tyrannosaurus Rex with little clovers. So cute. Now we're going to get Charlotte because she's dressed for St. Patrick's Day as well. So she's wearing my favorite Nikes that we have. And I almost thought they were misplaced, but they were found. So I don't know where you guys can get these other than I found them on eBay. And when I looked for them on eBay a couple years ago, I just put rainbow sprinkle Nikes. Just kind of messed with it and uh, they came up. So here she is. She's looking so cute. Her little tutu. Adorable. She's all ready to celebrate. And we have a package here from Posh, which is for her. So we're going to open that right before the painting. All right. Uh, poor Charlotte can't really see with that box there. But look at how cute the stickers are. You know, if you give a mouse a cookie. So cute. So we're going to open this. I'm excited about this package. Um... There is a really cute outfit in it, and it's so unique. Never seen it around. Um, I gotta love Posh. It's always introducing you to things you've never seen. And then, of course, when you find it, it's like, oh my god, it's the only one there. All right, there's even a card in there. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for your shop. So cute. It says. Thank you for your purchase. I hope you love these adorable outfits. I included a little extra outfit you might like. Aw, thank you. So cool. I don't think I've ever had anything extra included from Bosch. So exciting to see. Okay, oh my god, look at these crazy socks. They're called um, a pair of socks. They're the perfectly unmatched socks or something like that. Super cute. They're like crocheted like. But they're so neat. I thought those would just be fun. And then this um, hungry caterpillar outfit. Oh my gosh. So cute. It's older Carter's line. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at that. Caterpillar on the back. Adorable. Adorable. Okay, let's move so you can see Charlotte better. Alright, so this is an outfit that I bought. Oh my gosh, look at this. So cute. So I've never seen this. It's called um, uh, Polaron Pyre. I don't know, Sweden. Really cute. Look at that. It's like um, different animals at the park. Adorable. And then it's got, so it's a jacket, right? And then it has a onesie. So cute. So I'm going to put that on her with some little long knee socks, knee-high knee, knee -high socks. I thought that'd be so adorable. That is so cute. So here's the free outfit you put in here. Let's see. A white H&M. Um, oh, it's a new onesie, so Jackie can cricket on it. Hey. And then some... Pants that coordinate in size. So, hey, Jackie can make a freaking outfit out of that to sell. Awesome. So cool. All right, guys, now let's get to painting. Excuse the sound if it sounds off, okay? I'm in the car, but I gotta get this done. <laughs> so, what I'm working with is my creasing mix, and I'm gonna jump up the colors that I use to make that. So, I would tell you how much to put in there, but that's really hard for me to do. I don't know ratios to, you know, ratios for the paint. So I just make it that color. And this paint, I prefer to be very, very thick when using it. So typically I make my creasing color at least eight hours before I use it. That way the consistency is where I like it. So I do all the creases and then I use an e.l.f. Uh, concealer brush. I love makeup brushes because it really moves the paint. I just put like a dab of paint 
it's in the crease line. I know it's so hard to show with my hand in the way of the camera. And then I go with my e.l.f. brush and I just grab the paint and I pull it and make it all nice and clean and pretty. And you're gonna do this for all your creases, except for those very small hairline creases. You don't wanna crease all these tiny little creases, elsewise you're just gonna look like your baby's been scratched up. And if it has wrinkles on the forehead, I suggest that you don't really crease those until you know how to do more of a shading and not a creasing because it can make your baby look very angry or much older than it should look. But yeah, so um, something I left out of the previous tutorial, and thank you for the great question, is how long do you bake this for? So after the creasing, we will not be baking. I believe we're going to do a modeling layer. Um, so every time you bake, it's level six on the new wave for six minutes or 265 degrees Fahrenheit for six minutes. If you're using your oven at home, please make sure to use a thermometer in there before ever cooking in there too. Know that your oven is cooking at the accurate temp. Uh, ladies, we do know that ovens, no two really cook alike. Um, <laughs> you know they can be higher or lower in temperature and if it's higher, you can melt your kit. Yes, these things will melt. They're vinyl. They're not made out of cement. You're going to melt that sucker. So, this is the first time I'm doing the creasing. I will say throughout the um, painting process, I may touch up the creasing um, once or twice. If I have to touch it up a second time, it's really going into define some certain creases that I want um, to be more prominent than others. And I have to say, this is one of my least favorite things to do. We're going to Tina's right now. Sorry. She's uh, slightly giving you directions. But I promise this video. So you see and the I difference. I she's not driving. <laughs> yeah, and you see the difference without creasing and creasing. Creasing adds so much life. This is the stage of your art where you're going to see all everything you did before really come together. And, you know, again, when working, like, with the face and stuff, just be gentle with how you're cleaning, you know. Make sure when you're cleaning your work that you're not leaving fingerprints behind. You know, before I put my limbs into the oven, I check to make sure I haven't got a brush stroke somewhere. But, you know, it never fails. I have little spots and fingerprints. I, I see my fingerprints in a lot of my work. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, people have my identity right there. But you know what? It makes it more personal. So in here, what I mean with the foot, as you can see, I am only creasing the main creases. Not all those little tiny creases. Because if you did it, it's just going to look like a cat came and scratched your baby's foot. <laughs> so that's why you don't do that. And it keeps it really clean. And see, I don't go the whole crease with paint. Just a little. Move it over. There we go. At that oh my gosh I so this day I actually creased quite a few dolls I had I think five kits that were all at the same point where they needed to be creased and I'm like I hate creasing it's just it's time consuming it's not that I hate it it's time consuming and you have to you know make sure pay attention to your details when you do mottling you know you're just running through you're just putting it down and just making sure your paint stays even consistent here you just want to make sure it's clean and neat all around so yeah this is how I crease my babies oh my gosh so I hope you guys are enjoying the video I really do I wanted to make these you know paint along videos enjoyable I didn't want you to hear biting your nails pulling your hair out because they're so ah, can she just get to the point already because I can't learn from that. I like to feel like I'm right there with you. So I hope that you guys are having a blast. I'm enjoying teaching you guys. I love to share the art. Um, anytime people come over and they've never painted, I'm like, you want to paint a kit? You know, like if they're visiting and stuff, it's just a lot of fun. So here we're on to the face. So I get a lot of questions like, how do you get your lip color? <clears throat> Excuse me. Very confusing answer because there's really no simple answer 
Let me get a drink while we're driving. There's cars <laughs> passing. This has got to be the most different voiceover I've ever done. <laughs> um, anywho, so when I do my creasing is when I actually start the process of my lip color. So it's very important to make sure that you do your lip color. I do every crease, everything that needs to be creased gets creased in the same color and like everything that needs to be painted for major details like lips and nails I use this same color as well to start building my base of my lips as you see it does look really creepy I cannot wait to show you guys this baby with more life because right now she's lacking a little bit of life but I need to get her really done oh my god she's so cute I just see her she's got her eyes in now she has resin eyes by Kina Dolphy. I really like those eyes a lot. So I know it's hard for you to see, but I am working on her lips. And like I said, you want to paint everything that gets, you know, major details done. Um, her tongue is actually gets painted as well with the creasing color. And she doesn't have a lot of creases on her face. So I do crease, you know, her eyelids. And um, yeah, and that freaking elf blending brush is the best. It really is. I love it. And don't try to make it last for forever. You know, once you start to see it fray on the end, get a new one. They're only two bucks a piece. I miss the days when they were a dollar a piece. But some people say it's a dollar in their area. Oh, wow. California <laughs> freaking sucks, man. They're two dollars here now. Whatever. It's so upsetting. But anyways, I also, like I said, my blending brush for like my blushing is an e.l.f. foundation brush. I have found that I just, I think that the e.l.f. ones work really great. Yep. They really do. So see, I put that color in there. Oh my gosh. She's going to be alive soon. Well, she'll look more alive when we put some uh, <laughs> eyes in her. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, there she is. She's all creased up. Wow, looks really good. So now we're going to do, you're going to use this purple color, and we're going to do a purple mottling. You do not want to see purple on your doll. If you see purple mottling, your color is way too strong. You should see like a translucent purple. It's translucent. You can see it. Um, I'm going to do my best to pick it up in camera, but... If you take this sponge and you put it on your doll and you see purple, you better get some thinner on another sponge and take it off your doll and add more thinner into this paint. You don't want strong pigmented colors when it's applied to the doll. So, um, and then it's like the mottling washes like we did with the red. Now you're going to do a purple and I don't know what it is with this color, but it just really makes the skin look more human-like. Uh, it's weird. And you're going to do it all over the doll, face, legs, everywhere. So now that we creased it, remember we've not baked. We have not baked yet. So this is how you save time. We just creased. Once we're done with this mottling layer, then you're going to bake for, again, New Wave Oven Level 6, 6 minutes. And if you're baking with your home oven, with if you're baking with your home oven, please have a window open, a fan circulating the air out, okay? And it's going to be 265 degrees Fahrenheit. Sorry, I don't know what that translates into Celsius because I don't know those. But for six minutes. And when the timer goes off, get it out. Because if you leave it in there, it'll melt. The one thing that I love about the new wave is uh, it doesn't melt. And I just lied to you guys <laughs> I thought I baked after that layer but I didn't you know and I went back once the purple layer dried and did a red mottling but you know what because you guys are learning the first time I want you to bake after the purple layer okay so then once you do the purple layer and it's baked and your creasing is baked then I want you to come in and do another mottling layer so what is this this is like mottling layer number four and um, see how that looks. Then the next time you paint a doll, when you do your purple mottling, do your pink mottling on top of it and then bake and see how that looks. So you can see the different ways because trust me, they're gonna look different because one, 
you're working on top of paint that's not for fully cured it's cured enough by drying and enough that you can paint on top of it and it kind of blends things together even more and then the other one you're working on top of paint that is fully cured so it you can't change anything about it right it's two different looks beautiful so four layers of mottling look at the difference it's looking amazing you're gonna do this throughout your entire doll again and then once you bake that one the red mottling you're now gonna do yellow mottling washes yes oh my goodness and this is gonna go all over the doll again this is a translucent color but you want to see the yellow but you don't want it yellow okay if your doll looks like it has jaundice yeah, it's too yellow it's still translucent but shows the color in which I hope that you guys can see that in the video and as you see the sponge it's got the mottling holes that I use big separation spaces we don't want little tiny um, design um, gosh we're really trying to drive and um, do directions all at the same time and Jackie's phone is now jumped across and we lost it don't mind us we're back on track oh my god we got the phone <laughs> we're also almost at Tina's house so yeah so after this uh, yellow layer mottling then you will go ahead and bake so you'll do all your limbs arms legs and everything all right so we're ending the video with this cat right here because we um, went to the thrift store with Tina and I found this cat and I thought I would wash her up she's so adorable I love calicos She's Aurora brand. I've seen people on TikTok do wonderful things, and I thought I'd give my hand at it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay awesome, stay positive, and we'll be back soon. Bye!